Okay, so um, in this one, if this is my central angle, then that means I have an inscribed angle here. So 112, that means it's going to get me to um, 56 for half to give me the inscribed angle. Um, now, what we can also do from this, as we said before, was there's another central angle here, and it's inscribed angles over here. So this central angle, 360, take away 112, that's 248. And cut that in half, you get 124 for the other missing angle. Is that, can I see to verify that? Yes, okay. I'm not so confident on my arithmetic today, so I appreciate the uh, double checking. Okay, so we'll try a couple here before we get into the homework. So let's try uh, uh, A is easy. Let me do it for you. There you go, 76. All you have to do is double the uh, inscribed angle. Um, hmm. B. B looks funny. Can you see what the angle would be for, uh, for X? So here's, we got one, two, three. So that's my inscribed angle. So can you see what the central angle is? The central angle would have the same two points, but contain the center for the uh, angle. So this would be the central angle. So how much is the central angle worth there? 85. Sorry? 85. 85. So if I got 85 degrees here, then how much is X? Sorry, DJ, what did you say? 42.5. 42.5 is right. Okay. It's half of the central angle. So here's my central angle. It's half of my central because it's the inscribed. This one is inscribed from, uh, yeah, this one is the inscribed angle here. I thought it was not supposed to be the, the angle that touches all three sides, which is the, that shape. It, it, well, it does touch all three, there's three points on the diameter of the circle. One, two, three. I thought it was one and three. Okay. Okay. So let's try to find, there's three missing angles in this one. And again, it's, it's trying to figure out where the inscribed and central angles are because that Star Trek symbol has been distorted. So see if you can figure out what X, Y, and Z are going to be. Somebody have um, an X, an answer for X? 32. 32, good. How did you know that? Because they share the same arc. Same arc. There's the arc. 32 degrees here, 32 degrees there. Now, what about Y? 64. Good. 64, how come? This is the central angle. It goes from this point. Oops, let me undo that for a second. Um, it goes from the edge of the circle to the center, back to the edge. And what's inscribed, the angle that is right on the edge of the circle, is this one. So that angle is twice what that angle is. Okay. And what about uh, Z? 32. 32. And how come? Yeah, same arc still. Okay, let's uh, let's skip. We'll try a uh, something a little bit more. Okay. Um, let's try F and G here. Okay, so I'll give you a couple minutes to work on an F and G, and then we'll come back and see where we're at. Okay, let's see this first one here. So as I said, you have a central angle right here. So if we have a central angle, we should look for the inscribed angles. Okay. What, uh, what letters correspond to the central angles of 68? Or sorry, the inscribed angles of 68? U and w. Yeah, U and W. So same points, but I have to go touch the edge of the circle over here. And same points back to there. Okay, so they come from the same arc. So that means uh, this time I'm talking about, uh, let's see here, half of 68, which will be 34, and 34 here. Okay, so what can I figure out next then? Any ideas? 
Okay, I'll come back to uh, you in a second, Alice. You said Y and Z are? How did you know they're 56? Yeah, so Z equals Y equals 56 degrees because I've got 180 degrees in the triangle, 68 of which I've used. And I have two equal angles, so it gives me 56 degrees for each of them. Okay, Alice, which one did you find? Oh, sorry, I thought it was a different one. Okay, how about X or V? Did anybody get X or V? V has to be 56. V has to be 56, that's right. How do you know that? Because um, the middle is a diameter, so it's 180. Yeah, so and if it goes, exactly. So if it goes through here, there's 180 degrees there, which means this must make a right triangle. 34 and 56 adds up to 90. Um, you could also, now that you know you have this arc here, that this angle is inscribed, so is this one. That's 56 for each. Same arc, same inscribed angle. So this one, that's one of the angles from that arc. The other angle is here. Okay? And the last one, which is X. 34. 34, yeah. 34 because? triangle. Yeah. This length is equal to this. It's the radius of the circle. So isosceles triangle, equal angles, equal sides. Okay. Um, what about X, Y, and Z in the next picture here? Um, why is this angle here? <laughs> so y is 80, that's right. And how did you get uh, that? Okay. Same arc. Same arc, right? So it's going to be central angle, inscribed angle, same inscribed angle. Okay, and what about Z? Yeah, it's got to be 90. If it's a chord that goes through the center, that means any, uh, any inscribed angle has to be 90 degrees that goes through it. So one, uh, one thing too, just to clear up, sounds like there's a few people wondering on this one. If this is my circle, it's the arc that we're worried most about. So if this is, that was really terrible, let me try that again. If this is my arc, okay? then the inscribed angle is going to be the one, take the same arc and touch the edge of the circle. Okay, oh, that's terrible too. I guess I need a ruler up here. Okay, the central angle is going to be from the same arc, but to the center. Okay, so if you're looking on the same arc, you should be looking for the inscribed and the central angles that come from the same arc. Okay, so we're gonna leave it there. If you wanna try those extra examples, go ahead.